Welcome back. You're watching Crossroads with Nathan Shen. We are talking about challenges and opportunities that exist for young people who want to go into business or who want to start business. And we have uh, three amazing young business leaders who are here who are sharing their insight, which is you know great thing you know because it's it's usually something we want to see more of that people who are in businesses are able to uh, you know give their insight and share their advice with people who are trying to start that right. So let's talk a bit about the final segment. I want to talk a bit more about initiatives and programs or projects or or support systems that can be set up for young people who want to explore setting up business. Not everybody would succeed, but that's okay. Just like how we take different courses and different programs and don't end up using some of those, it's okay if people start business and feel that that's not for them, right? But what kind of support can we provide? Um, maybe I'll start with Chandra. Yes, uh, <coughs> as a community, as a, we have lots of uh, successful business people uh, a lot of big folks, uh, as you can say. Uh, I think we have some sort of uh, organization in uh, business community yeah. that can help youngsters. Yeah. But so far, I haven't. I'm not sure if I'm wrong, but I haven't seen any uh, organizations or big folks coming in and helping uh, uh, morally or financially even mm -hmm. uh, youngsters. Uh, I haven't seen any okay. so that can be. Uh, yeah, yeah. Done. So more more programs to support uh, some sort of a at least some sort of program mm -hmm. to yeah. start with. Yeah. So the the, the older generation um, succeeded in some ways. Uh, not all of them. Again, there are a number yes. of textiles and grocery stores that have opened and closed. Closed. And and you know and there are some you know some fields like real estate and mortgages that are like huge number of people and other uh, in, industries in those as fields, well. Right. Um, so so not everybody is succeeding, but at the same time, the ones who are successful. Are they providing that mentorship uh, to 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 young professionals, or or is it hard for us to expect them to provide those mentors? Because our professionals, our, our businesses who succeeded came with literally nothing, you know, like starting in the basement <coughs> to sell stuff and then getting into business and so on, right? So, is is it too much to expect those people who have succeeded, who still have a lot of uh, burden on them business-wise, to be giving back, or is it happening? I think um, <clears throat> the main issue is um, there might be an age difference between those that are succeeding and those that want to get into that business. So it's hard for um, you know, the communication to be opened up um, in a way it's, it's beneficial. Uh, it might be hard for them to, for the older generation to relate to the younger generation. Mm -hmm. And um, you, you know, times have changed. What has worked? for people who have succeeded and launched this, uh, the business before might not work in this day and age. Mm -hmm. So I think that gap in age might have something to do with that as well. Yeah, so I, I mean, it's one is the age gap, <coughs> but also the cultural uh, differences in where people mm -hmm. grew up mm -hmm. and what kind of system of uh, thinking they grew up mm -hmm. from, right? Uh, we had a member of the Canadian Chamber of Commerce, uh, Canadian Tamil Chamber of Commerce in the last episode, and we had a brief segment, and he was saying that, you know, uh, for the first generation that came, uh, everything they had to do was work hard, work hard, work hard. And then the next generation that is taking up thing are finding ways to reduce the amount of hard work, but find smarter ways to mm -hmm. navigate mm -hmm. it, right? Mm -hmm. So there's a bit of a cultural difference of how they perceive. The cultural means, I'm not talking a culture, uh, culture means business culture, business philosophy wise, they're, they're looking at exploring different ways, right? Is there opportunities of mentorship uh, in our community that, that can help? Or is it something that should be further set up? I know CTA, CTPA, can you have a professional association <coughs> is doing some of those things too. Um, um, I'm gonna take different angles for this as well. So the older generation, we touch about it, and, and their expectation is for the younger generation to come and ask them instead mm -hmm. they identifying opportunities and going and talking to them and everything, which is a little bit tough for the younger generation because of the age gap, because of the generation gender, uh, uh, the, the age difference or the cultural difference and everything. Because the younger generation more towards like you know they like you said they want they don't want it to sweat but they wanted to make the money. The older, the, the, the first I didn't say that. They sweat <laughs> little. <laughs> they sweat <laughs> little. Yeah. But like how can I sweat little and make make, you know, make money? Yeah. But uh, but uh, the the previous generation, the first generation uh, individual, they sweat. Um, they didn't see the family for a couple of days or whatever the case may be, and they were. Uh, that is not expected in the younger generation who was born and raised in Canada. And CDPA, for example, they've opened up the little door where you know you could come and network. Mm -hmm. I've been to a couple of their networks. And it was a fantastic opportunity, but not a lot of younger generations are coming there. Some people, when I spoke to, okay, I'm going for this event, why don't you join me type of thing, oh, it's a waste of time. But 
but rather they're looking at the negative perspective versus going and experiencing and finding the positive things out of it it just there's a roadblock for them okay if i there it's not going to be a cultural group of different race mm -hmm. in order for me to get it better mm -hmm. with that said um i don't know if you've seen a, a program called dragon's den mm -hmm. um i'm i'm i still today i record and i watch that program it's not because uh, um uh, I'm going to be going in the dragon's den. Who knows? But maybe one day. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, but it's the uh, advice that comes from those panels. It's it's gold, yeah. and I don't see anything that is in Tamil community. And I would like to see something that is in Tamil community. I mean, like he pointed out, there's a lot of uh, uh, big people in our community, the wealthy, uh, who are willing to put their money and invest. Mm -hmm. There should be a dragon dance in Tamil community. That's what a lot of experiences yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, not only the not only financially. We That's need right. more stories, more struggles, yeah. and we yeah. need to know what they have done to, you know, overcome all those uh, struggles. Adversities and struggles. Yes. And you were t talking about giving up, right? Mm -hmm. If people heard more stories of how people persevered, yes. uh, they might not give up. They might exactly. see that, that there's some light at the end of the tunnel, right? And cultural, uh, sorry, uh, yeah. cultural ahead. differences uh, shouldn't be a problem because we all read books and we all read about older uh, business people yeah. and their success stories and uh, it's all it's all uh, you know what matters is just that experience and how they did how they didn't yeah. so all sorts of things matter I and think. and the younger generation also need to value our <coughs> own community's businesses more as well because there's always this uh, it's Steve everywhere. Jobs type thing yes. not not <coughs> the next door person who actually True. became a millionaire from nothing right so mm -hmm. so we have successful stories within our own communities exactly. and our families but we kind of aspire somewhere else and not, outside, to, not yes. to tap into it, right? So mm -hmm. um, let's talk a bit about networking because that's one of the biggest challenges I see <coughs> young people, regardless of the field, but particularly in the business field, right? You yeah. know, just breaking through that ice and comfort zone and going and talking to somebody, giving the business card, taking a card, following up. For uh, sure. How, how, is there a training that we can provide? Is it learned? Is it skilled? Is it natural? What, is, what, what should we do? I think the most important thing is just to get out there. Um, you know, there. I, I had the pleasure. You mentioned CTPA, and and they do a lot of workshops and seminars and presentations that you know a lot of people can benefit from. Um, uh, uh, even with the older generation, you don't have to go to a formal training by them. Just by networking and being in that environment where they're there to give you advice, just informally, you know, by way of conversation. That's that's one thing. So, uh, it's worked. Networking has worked for me. Um, I think I started doing that more in the last couple of years than mm -hmm. I have, you know, when I started. I, and, and I do notice the difference. Okay. You know, come across all sorts of people. You know, you're not restricted to just one organization when it comes to attending events. Um, a lot of organizations come to the event. So mm -hmm. you have the opportunity to meet different, you know, variety mm -hmm. um, of groups. Mm -hmm. uh, in a networking speaking for speaking for industry perspective let's yeah. say uh, our not business but if you wanted to be employer employed mm -hmm. by a firm or anything coming back to the networking point a lot of firms are hiring based on the networking that you have like i mean yeah. the resumes goes through uh, uh, the uh, hr or the hiring manager it's based on the network the networking is a key uh, in today's age i mean i'm sure it was uh, it needed in back uh, back then and now it's more because more and more than you network you meet different different people where some opportunities are there mm -hmm. it's presented it is hard it is harder uh, because you know i know that in certain networks it's completely either white or completely either male in in certain networks it's not natural fit that you can do this stuff i'm not, you know th you know that's why hiring through networks sometimes results in the type of people who are already in there Rather than you know diversifying the stuff, right? But unfortunately, that's the reality that we have to we have to fight at this point. Network. Let's talk a bit about uh, networking. From you know, there is also a tendency for us to believe sometimes that we need to network with somebody who is more successful than us, rather than network across or network even with people who are trying to start up businesses and things like that, right? Because sometimes you know you get the most out of people who may not be at, at the level of success you are, but they're starting up something innovative that, right? So is that something you notice or, or in terms of networking, as a, uh, networking for success? Uh, networking for success, it can go multi-level, whether you could go to a person who has, who has no aspiration or inspiration of uh, um, uh, starting a business versus um, a person who has been in successful. But it's the level of um, analysis or the level, it, it varies from a person who is not 
in, inspired to start a business there where there you networking for your marketing like, you know i'm doing this what so there's a word of mouth that can pass it on the person who's your uh, networking you know, were successful you're trying to pick his or her brain as to what they have done to achieve to this position so that yeah, me as a person who who can achieve to that person uh, that that level as well so there's a different level of uh, uh, networking when you do networking you uh, you as an individual should be uh, evaluating um, what am i doing this networking for um, uh, let's say let's say i uh, i don't know you for example and i see um, when i network with you what am I going to get at? Like, what's in it for me? Always ask that question when you are in the business. Well, uh, even, one, of the, even one of the things that I, I struggle with that some, sometimes our younger generation, like me and you are talking about something. We are both interested in business, but we talked about hockey or we mm. talked about Rajinikanth, for example, mm. Mm. right? And next Rajini movie comes, you throw me an email saying, you know, what's going on? You're going to be watching this and, you know, is it going to be hit? You connect with me on a separate level, mm. which is actually going to help, right? Mm. So sometimes we don't, tend to kind of personalize and emotional intelligence is not used, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And that is that is something also additionally for networking that we are kind of struggling with because it's always, if I have to call you or if I have to email you, it has to be something that is tangible in which case. That, that is a very good point you mentioned that networking is not just, you know, one day, um, you know, say hi and buy and send mm -hmm. a follow up. Do like, you know, like you said, um, uh, understand what he or she likes, send an email back or, you know, yeah. bim, uh, um, uh, New Year wish yeah. or, a, or a Christmas wish. You don't need to say a Merry Christmas. You could say Happy Holidays and yeah. move on. Well, that's a different <laughs> show. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, talk, we'll talk about that in a different show. We're coming to the close of the show. I want to give you like a minute and a half to each of you to kind of say, you know, if, if uh, there are young people who are thinking about business or even older generations who have changed careers and thinking about business or newcomers at middle age who are thinking about business. What are some of your advices? Uh, we'll start with Chandru. What, what are some concrete advice? You probably already said some of those, but yes. summarize it for us. Trust. Uh, keep your word. Say you're <coughs> providing a service, uh, say you're delivering something on this particular day, do it no matter what. If you can't make it, call the person, call the client, and uh, tell them that you cannot make it. Yeah. You say yes, follow it. Yeah. That's That's one of the major thing that I would say. Yeah. And people sometimes yeah. are willing to pay 20, 30% more than the regular rate because they know this person will not uh, falter from yes. what they said, right? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's that's the main thing I would say. Keep your promise. Great. For you? Um, <coughs> at, uh, I recently had um, the chance to be under a mentorship program, mm -hmm. which I wouldn't have come across if I hadn't networked. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, Samusati from Mandra is the mm -hmm. one who introduced me to a mentor, Teresa Lorico, mm -hmm. <coughs> who it's, a, um, it's an extensive program where she guides you through your goals. Okay. And she talks about uh, accountability partner. Let's say, you know, you have the means, um, you, you have the idea to start a business, but you don't know how to go about it, or you don't know if you will proceed. Once you tell uh, an accountability partner that this is you know your goal this is what you want to do in three months six months or one year from now you now are forced to follow through with it because you've yeah, already voiced it out loud so it's very important to have that mentorship I found recently um, you know it's uh, this one is called ignite that mm -hmm. um, really mm -hmm. helped so find a mentor that suits you yeah uh, both in terms of understanding you as well because some mentors some successful people aren't the best mentors because they're judgmental they could be you know but finding the best mentor is, is an it's a big challenge but once you find it has a big impact of course on you uh, positively so final word uh, to you to say what's your advice to um, well? one of my advice is build the trust I mean uh, like you like Chandra said also don't break the trust with your customers customers are important and most importantly if you uh, ever start a business or if you're planning on starting a business write it down write things down that you have done it that you are doing it or what you are planning to do the planning to do might be going to different different stages uh, I still today till write it down okay tomorrow I'm going to do this one week from I'm going to do this one month from this I need to do this write it down that keep that keeps you in track because I mean you will hit with a lot of uh, bows and arrows and everything from different different external different different angle in order for you to align your thoughts and align you where you need to be going you need to focus and write it down yeah. that's yeah. one of no, my biggest definitely that's, that's a very good organizational skill to have as well you know sometimes we think it's all in our head 
but once you write down it kind of concentrates our memory and focus <laughs> our thinking and so on right head once you have a shower it's gone that's yeah. what i think <laughs> <laughs> uh, we all give us um, uh, we all think that we are more stronger in our memory power than we actually are um, so thank you very much uh, rukshan subhi and chandru for taking your time and coming and sharing all your insights about uh, you know the challenges of opportunities threats and other things that exist uh, in business but also personal stories you know it takes a bit more uh, courage and conviction to kind of come out and share your stories to help some other, somebody else as well so thank you very much best wishes in your business and further success thank you and uh, thank we and our viewers uh, definitely appreciate your uh, your your comments as well as your presence here in this show thank you for thank having you. me thank you, thank you. we was we had a uh, in-depth discussion uh, about young professionals who want to start businesses young people who want to go into business what are some of the opportunity challenges and so on please send your comments to crossroads@tamilvision.tv and we'll see you next week with another topic thank you